In this lesson, we'll take a look at the uh, at a quadratic polynomial here that I have plotted, along with a secant line that I have plotted between these two points here and here, and the slope between those two points. All right. So, and this particular quadratic polynomial is right here is y is equal to 0.6x squared minus 1. So it has a y-intercept at negative 1 right here and then uh, we can, it's evaluating points along every unit here. So you can see at this point of x I get a point of y, at this point of x I get a point of y, etc. So there's just a few points along the curve to, in order to generate it. And then what I've also drawn is this uh, secant line. So this is a line between one of the points on the curve and another point on the curve. And I arbitrarily chose this point, two points away over here, and I'm drawing a line between them. And then what I'm doing is I'm calculate, I'm grabbing a triangle, a right triangle. So and you can see the distance in y is 2.4. That's my delta y, change in y. And my distance in x is 2. That's my change in x. You can see one, two units. And so then my my uh, slope is equal to the change in y over change in x, so it's 2.4 divided by 2 is equal to 1.2. So the slope of this secant line is 1.2. All right. Now let's take a look. In, now you noticed in the uh, couple of the other lessons what we had done, we had found a line that was tangent to a specific point. Right. We had a line that I think was tangent up here when the curve was a little bit higher up, and we found a line that was exactly tangent to that point. Well, this, this line is nowhere t near tangent to this point. Tangent to this point would be a flat line. The slope would be zero. There would be no change in the y direction at this point for if you were exactly tangent to this curve. In fact, I'll show you one. Here's a, uh, let's see, I'll show you a tangent line right there. There is a line that is tangent to this point right here. And so what this would mean at that point, that slope is exactly equal to zero for just that particular line, all right? I mean, for that particular point. All right, so let's go back to our, just uh, this uh, line here, the secant line. So I can change this secant line to go between this point and this point, but in this case, I've just made it two points away, and we've calculated the slope of this line to be equal to 1.2, all right? Now, if I was to move the secant point down to here, let's see what happens to the slope. So I'm gonna move this point, to here, and I'll, that'll be the second one of my secant points, and so I'll move it down one, and it'll be like this right there. So now it's going between here and here, and now you can see the slope has changed. Now the slope is a change in y is 0.x in distance, and the change in x is 1, so the slope is 0.6. So the slope is it's a smaller slope than it was. It was much steeper before because it was going between here and here and here and here. Now, if I was to keep changing this point, then it would get closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer like this, and that slope would keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, right? So at some point, because how do you calculate this slope of this point otherwise? I mean, because in order to calculate the slope of this line, I mean, if, to, how do you calculate the slope of that line? I mean, to calculate a slope, you need another point, right? Because that's what I'm doing here. I have another point, and then I can calculate the change in y versus the change in x. So let me make one more. Let me make a, let's see if I can make a, another interval in here between the two. Let's see. So let's, let's make it like this. So now I've divided this interval here. Notice I'm normally calculating every one unit, but now here I've calculated a unit in between. I've actually divided this interval up, and I have a point here. Now my secant line is going between here and here, and it's calculating the slope based on this distance and this distance, and now the slope is 0 0.015 divided by, five, by 0.5, so now the slope is 0.3. It's even a shallower slope than it was before. Is going to be, now let's do it again. Let me get another one. Let's divide it up again into three intervals here that I have. And then, now if you take a look here, now it's this change in y is even smaller, and the change in x is smaller, and the slope is becoming smaller. So this line is becoming closer and closer to looking like that line, the slope at that point. But it's not exactly there. But that's how I'm trying to find that slope. 
because this is eventually getting closer and closer. It started at, I think, 1.2, went to 1.6, point, and now, now it's down to 0 0.2. And in fact, let me just make, uh, well, let me just do something. Let me, let me just add a few more points. We won't be able to see these points because they're going to get just too small for us. But now I have a bunch of points in between. <laughs> now check this out. So now the change in x, this is really going between here and here. And notice this, the slope is much shallower. It's 0. Point, I mean, it's point 0. 0.06. And that's because the change in y is very small, 0. 0.06 divided by 0. 0.1. So the intervals, so you can't really see, but it's itty bitty bitty tiny triangle right there. But it's still calculating the slope. And it's calculating it because I have uh, this secant line going between this point here and the next point here. But I'm still trying to find the slope at this point. I really want to know what it is. Well, I could keep doing it. I'll, all right, I'll just keep going just a little bit more. I'll go a little bit more, add a bunch more points to there, and we'll see what it looks like. So let's let's see. So now I've added a boatload of points. Actually, I had divided into like 28 intervals in between here, and you can just barely see the triangles now. But now this line is looking flatter and flatter, and sure enough, the slope is getting uh, smaller and smaller compared to where it was. But it's still not really getting down to uh, zero. And I, I could keep going and going and going. Well, it's never going to be exactly zero because that next point is always a little bit further away and a little bit further up and itty bitty 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 bit. All right. So that's really just something something to think about for the moment, and um, and we'll be addressing that more in a future lesson. But I just wanted to kind of give you an idea what's going on here. See, here's zero point zero seven. Now I'm making them. I've made more of them again. I'm going to go back the other way for a little bit. We'll go back to here. And then, and then you see it's up to 0.2, and it, it got down as low as 0 0.02, and uh, so it's approximating what it's doing. This secant line is approximating the slope of this point right here, but it's not getting it exactly. But I want to know it exactly, and we'll do that in another lesson. All right, and I'll see you in the next lesson.